Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat or Ashley, and today I'm going over the last deck to upgrade, and that is the Bedecked Brokers. If you'd like to purchase any of the cards I mentioned, when you use the link in the description, you help out the channel at no additional cost to you, so thank you. Our commander is Perry the Pulverizer. This is a 3 3 Rhino Soldier that costs 1 green, white, blue. When it enters the battlefield, we're going to put a shield counter on target creature. Whenever Perry attacks, target creature you control gains trample and gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of different kinds of counters among permanents you control. So let's talk about the cards I'll be adding. First up is Aquitic's Will. It's a tribal sorcery merfolk spell that costs one blue. We can put a flood counter on target land, which will have to be one of our own if we want Perry's sweet effect, but it makes the land an island in addition to its other types, and if we control a merfolk, we get to draw a card, which doesn't matter to me. We're just getting that flood counter that will give an additional plus one plus one whenever Perry's attacking and target creature is attacking. Next up is Components Pouch. So this is three mana for an artifact that is a little mana dork, I guess. Uh, we can tap it to remove a component counter from Component Pouch. It adds two mana of two different colors, and then we can also tap this to roll a d20. One through nine gets us one counter. Ten through twenty gets us two counters. Next up is Eeyore Ruin expedition. When a land enters the battlefield under your control, we can put a quest counter on this, and then if we need to, we can remove three quest counters, sacrifice this, and then we can draw two. Legacy's Allure. I've never seen this card before, but at our upkeep, we can put a treasure counter on this, and we can later sacrifice it to gain control of target creature with power less than or equal to the number of treasure counters on Legacy's Allure. Next up is a card I really like. It's Leash of the Tangle. While it is eight mana, it's really cool because whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may choose any number of target lands you control and put an awakening counter on on each of them. Each of those lands is an 8-8 green elemental creature token for as long as it has an awakening counter on it. They're still lands. So congratulations, you now have 8-8s for however many lands you choose. You can always choose one if you're a little skeptical if they might have a board wipe or something that could destroy your lands, but the important piece is we have an awakening counter which is different from all the other counters in this deck. Next is Ominous Seas. I normally don't like this card, but we're going for different types of counters. So for one and a blue, it's an enchantment. Whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on this and we can remove eight and then create an eight, eight blue cracking creature token. And what's nice is that we don't have to sacrifice this. We can still keep it, or if we need to, we can cycle it for two when it's in our hand. Next up is Promise of Loyalty. I, I think this is a great board wipe, and it's going to replace one that I'm removing from the deck. It says each player puts a vow counter on a creature they control and sacrifices the rest. Each of those creatures can attack you or planeswalkers you control for as long as it has a vow counter on it. Next up is Strixhaven Stadium. I honestly have never seen this played. I probably have had it in an upgrade or a deck tech sometime this year, but it says we can tap it and add a colorless and we can put a point counter on it. So it's a little mana rock and whenever a creature deals combat damage to us, we're going to remove a point counter from Strixhaven Stadium. Whenever a creature we control deals combat damage to an opponent, we're going to put a point counter counter on Strixhaven Stadium, and if it has 10 or more on it, we can remove all of them, and that player loses the game. So this is definitely a threat in this game, because we have a lot of ways to proliferate already, so I thought this was a neat one to add. Next is Thalid for 1 green mana. At the beginning of our upkeep, we can put a spore counter on this, and we can later remove three spore counters, and we can make a 1-1 Sapperling. And the last card is Tome of Legends. This is a great way to draw cards, because our commander will be attacking a lot. And I say that because when this enters the battlefield, it enters with a page counter. Whenever our commander enters the battlefield or attacks, we put a page counter on this, and we can pay one, tap it to remove a page counter to draw a card. This is a great way to draw cards. Perry wants to attack anyways, so this was a really easy one to add for me. Now moving on to the cards I will be removing. I'm going to be removing a Johnny unyielding and that's because while it is pretty versatile and it does have a loyalty counter which is a different counter to trigger our commander I feel like it's a little too slow I feel I don't know I was torn to not remove this but I feel like for six mana we could be doing something a little better next is angelic sleuth so whenever another permanent you control leaves the battlefield if it had counters on it investigate again this is too slow and I don't want my permanents to leave the battlefield this isn't a bounce deck or an exiling deck so we really don't want to put this in here but the clue tokens would be nice but Anyways, we're taking this one out. Next one is Declaration in Stone. This is a sorcery speed removal spell that I do not like and I do not recommend. Next is Gavel of the Righteous. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a charge counter on this. We already have ways to make charge counters with our lands, but the equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each counter on Gavel of Righteous. As long as it has four more counters, the creature now has double strike. If you want to equip, you can pay three mana or remove a counter from this. I, I didn't really care for this one, and if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. Next is Cross Defense Contractor. At the beginning of our upkeep, we'll put a shield counter on target creature and opponent controls, and this promotes goading and not counters on our creatures, so I took it out. Next is 
Luminarch Aspirant for one and a white. It's a one-one human cleric at the beginning of combat on your turn. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. While it does promote the plus one plus one counters, I think it's a little slow for me. I wish it was each creature we control. That would be really sweet, but sadly it is just one. Next is Oblivion Stone. This is a really slow way to protect our stuff and have a board wipe, so I took it out. And Planar Outburst. This is the card I took out for Promise of Loyalty. This destroys all non-land creatures. This is not a great board wipe. So I took it out. We have Power Conduit. We can tap this to remove a counter from a permanent we control, and we get to choose one of these, which is to put a charge counter on target artifact or a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Still a little too slow for me. And the last one is Wingspan Mentor. When it enters the battlefield, we can put a flying counter on target non-human creature we control. When I went to look at the creatures that we had, we do have humans in the deck, so what if we miss this opportunity to put a flying counter on one of our creatures? It just kind of, I didn't really think this would work out, so I took it out of the deck. If you want to see the rest of the upgrade videos, check out this playlist right here. Thank you to the patrons who help support this show, and thank you to the viewers who help by watching, liking, subscribing. It all helps out the channel, and again, if you want any of these cards, you can use the links down below. You're helping out supporting the channel, and it doesn't cost you any extra, which is really sweet. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.